In today's video, we'll be looking at 10 powerful things said by Ukrainian celebrities against Russia. Russian President Vladimir Putin's invasion of Ukraine has the world's attention, including, of course, Ukrainian celebrities who hold their country very close to their hearts and are weighing in on the ongoing crisis. Welcome back to FTD Facts. I'm Sarah Carvalho, and today we'll be looking at 10 powerful things said by Ukrainian celebrities against Russia. Up first, we have Catherine Winnick, Big Sky and Vikings actress. Catherine Winnick was born in Canada, but she is of Ukrainian descent and spoke Ukrainian as her first language. She has been speaking out with support for her motherland. She took to Instagram and shared her feelings in several posts, but most recently she said, people around the world are protesting to stop this unprovoked, unjustified war. We are an independent, loving country and deserve to live in peace. Together we will win. Together we can stop Russian aggression. Together we will prevail. Please retweet, hashtag stand with Ukraine, hashtag stop war. Up next we have Olga Krylenko. Olga Krylenko, best known for movies like Quantum of Solace and Black Widow, was born and raised in Ukraine. She took to Instagram on February 24th to write a message about the current crisis where she said, praying for Ukraine and the safety of its people. She wrote with prayer hand emojis, hashtag please stop the war. Moving on to Oksana Bayul. Oksana Bayul is the 1994 Olympic champion in ladies singles and was born in Ukraine. In a post online, she said, my thoughts are with my Ukrainians and I have been asked to do several interviews, but I believe the news should continue to focus on what's happening on the ground, on the tragedy that has broken our hearts Arts, and on the courage of the Ukrainian people. I am not a foreign policy expert, so I will leave the analysis to smarter people than me. Glory to Ukraine, glory to the heroes. Up at number seven, we have Vera Farmiga. Vera Farmiga, the popular American actress, was born in the US, but her parents are Ukrainian. She took to Instagram to share a photo of the Ukrainian flag, and she captioned the post with a few very powerful verses of the national anthem, sharing, Ukraine has not perished yet, nor her glory or freedom. Upon us, fellow compatriots, fate shall smile once more. Our enemies will vanish like dew in the morning sun, and too shall rule brothers in a free land of our own. We'll lay down our souls and bodies to attain our freedom. Hashtag glory to Ukraine. Hashtag glory to the heroes. Moving on to Susanna Jamaladinova, better known by her stage name, Jamala, she is a well-known Ukrainian singer, actress, and songwriter. Now, she took to Instagram to share her thoughts in several posts. In one of them, written in Ukrainian, she said, When strangers come to your house, they kill everyone and say, We are not guilty. Where are your feelings? Where is humanity? Where? No one sees their guilt. You all swallowed their souls. Now, these are famous lyrics of a song that she had previously written. She then said, I could not think that the events of World War II would simply become a reality again, not the past. You take lives again. You come to other people's houses again. I believe that together we are stronger than we think. It's important to say it like it is. Russia attacked us. Peaceful people in Ukraine. Hashtag now in Ukraine. Hashtag please stop Russia. Russia. And up at the halfway point in today's video, at number five, we have Maxim Shmerkovsky. Former Dancing with the Stars pro Maxim Shmerkovsky was born in Ukraine and is currently there while filming a TV show. Maxim took to Instagram to share videos from where he is currently staying. I'm in Kyiv. In 2022 civilized world, this is not the way we do things. I think the Russians need to get up and actually say something because no one's opinion is being heard. This is all one man's ambition of something, and however convenient it sounds in Moscow, however comfortable you are wherever you are in Russia, I just don't think this is the right thing. He continued, I'm uneasy, I'm very scared, but I do know at the very least I have a chance. I have an American passport and a way out. A lot of people here do not, 
and it's nonsense. And of course, next we have his brother, Val Shmerkovsky. He was also a Dancing with the Stars pro and was born in Ukraine, and he has been speaking out about his home country as well. Val took to his Instagram to share a message saying, my parents fled this country for this exact reason, not because it wasn't good to them, but because their kids would see war eventually if we stayed. It's a cruel irony that 28 years later, my brother is in a bomb shelter in Kyiv, Val wrote. He continued, if they hadn't left, I would be on the front lines defending my home right now. And the most heartbreaking thing of all, I would be either killing or dying at the hands of my fellow brothers. The Russian people don't want this. We stood by each other's side. We loved and celebrated one another. I speak Russian, yes, but make no mistake about it. I am a proud Ukrainian, and now the world will finally know the difference, Val said. Slava Ukraini all day, every day. And to all my Russian friends, this might be the best and only time to stand up to your dictator. Up at number three, we have Mila Jovovich. Resident Evil star Mila Jovovich was born in Ukraine and spent most of her early childhood living in Russia. Mila wrote on Instagram, I am heartbroken and dumbstruck trying to process the events of this week in my birthplace of Ukraine. My country and people are being bombed, friends and family in hiding. My blood and my roots come from both Russia and Ukraine. I am torn in two as I watch the horror unfolding, the country being destroyed, families being displaced, their whole life lying in charred fragments around them. I remember the war in my father's homeland of former Yugoslavia and the stories my family tells of the trauma and terror they experienced. War, always war. Leaders who cannot bring peace, the never-ending juggernaut of imperialism, and always the people pay in bloodshed and tears. Hashtag help Ukraine. Next, we have Vitaly Klitschko. Vitaly Klitschko is a very famous boxer and the older brother of Vladimir Klitschko. He is currently the mayor of Kyiv and has been posting regular updates for locals in Ukraine on Instagram. Now, they are all written in Ukrainian, but we managed to have some of them translated into English in one extensive post. He says, Dear friends, our situation is complicated. The enemy is on the outskirts of the capital. Our armed forces are fighting heroically for our land. We are preparing to defend Kyiv. The situation is threatening. The enemy wants to take the heart of our country, but we will fight and we will not give up Kyiv. We must protect our city, our country, and our future together. Together, we will survive. Glory to Kyiv, glory to Ukraine. And up at number one, we have Vladimir Klitschko. Vladimir Klitschko, one of the most famous boxers in the world, has been one of the most vocal celebrities about the crisis in Ukraine. He was born in the country and he is actually there right now. It has been reported that Vladimir has enlisted in the Ukraine Reserve Army and is ready to fight for his country. Vladimir wrote an article for LinkedIn to express his feelings on the war. Now the Russian president is using war rhetoric in the purest Bolshevik tradition and is rewriting history to justify his redivision of borders. He makes it clear that he wants to destroy the Ukrainian state and the sovereignty of its people. Words are followed by missiles and tanks. Destruction and death come upon us. That's it. Blood will mix with tears, Vladimir wrote in the article. We must face reality and have the courage to draw the conclusion for our future and that of our children. This is a blatant violation of international law. And if you listen carefully, this war is also talking about Europe. He continued, we will defend ourselves with all our might and fight for freedom and democracy. You can also act. Let not fear seize us. Let's not remain frozen. Putin shoots at Ukrainian cities, but he aims at our hearts and more importantly, at our minds. He wants to create doubt and confusion and thus 
in action. Wow, guys, all I have to say is that this is such a powerful and moving collection of messages from each of these Ukrainian celebrities. Now, this does bring us to the end of today's video on 10 powerful things said by Ukrainian celebrities against Russia. It really is such a sad series of events going on in the world right now. Our hearts really do go out to everyone impacted by the current situation, and we pray that all things will change course for the safety and well-being of all affected by this. On your way out, please give us a like and subscribe to show us your love, and we will see you right here next time for more facts. See ya!